It's uh, Sunday morning, the uh, 21st of August, and uh, I'm just getting ready to get back to work. I'm going to do my talking now because the lady that doesn't like me talking on a camera and working on a computer is here today, and so I'm going to be a little silent, and I'll dub in the sound later, but I will be videoing. All right, and I'm going to be answering a question that a young lady from Estonia has asked me today in, in an email or a comment on one of my videos. All right. Okay, and this art show here at the uh, Tahoe Boatworks is uh, Michael K. Michael? Where Hello. Are you, where are you from? <laughs> San Luis Obispo County, a little town called Creston. And he makes incredible glass artwork. That's a table right there. Just look at the detail in that tabletop. I mean, it's sunken. Let me put the camera down in there so you can see it from under the rim. And uh, this is one of his sculptures here. And he's been selling like gangbusters here at the show. He's got very little left on his wall. And he's so well priced. <laughs> God. This one's got gold leaf in it. You can see the detail in the bubbles and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, the designs in the glasses here. Now these are some of his vases, and I mean, how much is that vase? 130 bucks. Yeah. The stand and everything for 130 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong. You can see him online. I'll put a link in my description below so that you can uh, go online if you feel like buying some artwork from a. Really good California artist. That's all gold leaf in that uh, glass there. <laughs> Wonderful wall hangings and some more of the vases. And he makes these stands for the uh, vases as well. And this just shows how they can, some of these vases can be used. Look at the detail on that vase. Just unbelievable. It's got this wonderful glass uh, ridge here. Yes, three pieces that are fused. Yeah. That's a wonderful flower pot. Gotta show it to you in the light. It changes drastic. Oh, yeah? So, whatever you can do, whether it's artificial or natural, I'm young. Try to place it where you can get a little because it. This is my son. Oh, hi. <laughs> His name is Michael, too. Oh, is that right? Wow. Yeah. It gorgeous? becomes a completely different piece of art. Uh, uh, that um, All the pieces I sign in a different way. I take copper wire and I melt my initials into every piece. Nice. So you know it's authentic and real. They're all truly originals. I can't ever reproduce them like a print or anything because uh, it's a different art. So how do you get the bubbles in there? It is a, an emulsion base that I come up with. Uh, ceramic is the main body, but I use a glass resist. Uh, and I mix it, fire it in the kiln, bring it out in a glob and break it with a hammer. And that's how that all this is done with my own kind of a texture feel. But it's my trademark, my right, texture right, right. and my art. Yeah, it, it's what really. Well, that's what captures all this. Right. Without it, it's not. A, it's not even close to being the same piece. It's just a flat piece of glass. Right, right. It would be just somebody painting on glass. Yeah. Alright, I got an email 
this morning from a, a young lady from uh, Estonia asked me why I need to put uh, wire in a horse armature so I'm gonna just do a little quick horse thing just to show you that's just a quick body the reason you need a wire framework in your play is because if you don't the clay is too weak to hold itself up and I'm gonna just show you real quick what you need to be doing what I'm talking about I'm gonna just, I'm just exaggerating here but, and this is probably too small it probably will actually hold itself up <laughs> Okay, now you got a, a real quick little horse, no wire in it, and if I stand it on its own, it, it's fine, but it eventually just falls over because it doesn't have anything to hold it up. Also, if I try to work on it, the legs fold up, and it looks like a dog laying down on the ground. So that's why I put wire on it. Uh, let me show you another example. This is a, let's see if I can get it up here so you can see, this is a sketch I did in wax. I didn't put any wire in this one because I didn't need it, and the wax is strong enough to hold its shape. So um, that's why I didn't put any wire in that. And the body was thick enough that it holds itself up really nicely, and, and the wax hardens up and uh, holds itself nicely. But this, this horse had to have wire going through the legs, even though it was made out of wax, and I sculpted it in wax. Um, if I'd have just left it with just the wax legs, it would have just eventually just folded over. So that's the reason why you have to put wi uh, wire in Good a frame. Afternoon. Now I have to have wire going through all these arms. If I didn't have a wire framework in there, it would just eventually droop instead of stay out like that. Uh, that's why uh, clay sculptors need a wire frame. Now this is a turtle that Hannah, my little apprentice here, is working on. Can you show me the picture you're going from? Oh, a sea turtle. Cool. Okay. Well, keep at it, Hannah. Did you finish your little swan yesterday? Can you show us? Oh, let me get your face in here so they can see Hannah. Okay. Wow, that is so cool. That really is well done. Now your mom's going to try to cast it, or what do you think she's going to do? She's going to try and cast it. Oh, cool. Or find a place that will cast it, like the places that cast them. Yeah. All right, Hannah. You just have fun with your, where'd your turtle go to? Well, that's the end of the day, and uh, I won't be sculpting for the rest of the week. And, uh, in fact, I'm heading back to Montana on Wednesday. Wednesday. Now, because a friend of mine, uh, his house is going to be toured on in, on uh, MTV uh, on Extreme Cribs on Tuesday at 1:30 uh, Pacific time, and so I've got to see that, and I don't want to be driving while that's on. But uh, as you can see, I've I've been working on the the base of it to try to make it look like a the skirt is uh, on the ground and stuff like that. And uh, trying to do the texture. I'll finish up the texture when I get home. And I'll work on the hand uh, of the uh, young lady, uh, this hand over here, because I'm not happy with that one. The face I've re reworked a little bit, and uh, I've made it look a little, uh, uh, hopefully, a little more Hawaiian. I've had several people from Hawaii that no, have come in and told me that you know, it's right so on the button, so I, I think it is. And I think it looks good enough to uh, uh, appeal to everybody, so we'll see. Uh, anyway, I'll wait for Tim's opinion. Uh, he's the gentleman in Hawaii that's going to probably be selling these things. So, All right, that's it for uh, this trip to Tahoe, and uh, next time I sculpt, I'll be in Annis, Montana. Bye, Hannah. Bye. <laughs>